All right, another one off. This one's from Duncan. We know Duncan from. We the, do know Duncan from the Netherlands. From the Netherlands, from talking to him on the live stream. That's right. And uh, so Fleetwood Mac, a band we have obviously heard of and listened to, but uh, we've never done a Fleetwood Mac video. We have Not never. Once. And Duncan says my very first request is, of course, is Fleetwood Mac. All right. Very good. So it is a beautiful song, and this is an intense performance. All righty. Oh, it's live. Very good. Mac never fails to this point when it comes to just the most wonderful feeling. It is gentle, so smooth, so it connects emotionally and just like the sweetest, but um uh there's a there's a me there's a meaningfulness in it. It's just yeah. like, oh, and it's just every Fleetwood Mac song does that. Every single one that I ever hear, they always there's always like not in the same way, but there's always just this, yeah. There's this like this warmth, yeah, in your heart when you listen to a Fleetwood Mac song. And Stevie Nicks' voice, ooh, it's wonderful. She sounds incredible. This is live, man. I, I, I I'm wondering like. Like, are people this good live anymore? I don't think they are. Like, are they? I'm trying to think. I'm sure there are artists who are this good, but I feel like... Um, it just so, it seems per- so clean. I think performance was more focused on back in the day. Now it's just like, oh, if you get a good recording, good to go. Whatever. Yeah. You can phone it in live. Don't even worry about it. But back then it's like... There was probably a lot more focus on the live performance and just like recording in the studio. Like they probably, they would do hundreds of takes. So like they really had the song down. Whereas like now you could just like record a song in an afternoon and be like, oh, there it is. Be like, oh, yeah, I forgot I recorded that. <laughs> like when I think about, especially pop stars now with all the dancing and everything too, mm-hmm. like, man, there's only so much you can do. Like you got to yeah, play so many right, shows, right. you got to learn all the dance moves. You got to do all this stuff. Like, I I wonder how much 
a lot of pop stars are actually able to like just sit there and just like practice singing. Right. Yeah. Like I don't know, practice singing during the shows. Yeah. Cuz I cuz w- what I'm saying, I'm not saying that um people nowadays are incapable. I'm saying the focus has shifted, so yeah. they're not putting the same amount of time and effort into it. And once again, yeah, but it, it, to be fair to the people nowadays, um Stevie Nicks is not going out there and doing choreographed dance with backup dancers. Right. She's just chilling, just crushing she's it just, on the vocals. Yeah, she's just singing. It it feels like things are more hyper focused. I mean, it's the same way where like, like you know, Stevie Nicks and the rest of Fleetwood Mac weren't having to make like TikTok videos and like yeah. promote themselves online. They were just musicians. You yeah, know? they're <laughs> like, ma- they're mu- all they had to do. They were musical writers and performers. They were not. Yeah. It's just yeah, like, they were not influencers. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was yeah. They, they probably were, didn't have to make nearly as many or any possibly advertisements. They were expected like, to write good like music that. and perform it well. Yeah. It was very straightforward. I'm sure they had side jobs before they blew up and everything, but mm-hmm. like, you know, it was just a lot more focused. I think I think that's nice. I think it's nice when you don't have to do all you don't have to become like a business person when it's just and in and, and yeah when it's just not only when it's when it's more so about not when it's just not only about the music it's about your image a lot more and, and it's not that they weren't aware of their image either and it's not that they weren't business people it's just like that wasn't that that seems like nowadays is the most important part is how right. influential you are rather than how good your music is or how mm-hmm. good you are performing live particularly how good you are performing live Oh yeah, no one cares. Like the yeah, that's like third or fourth on the list. When this yeah. might have been, like, it was at least the second most important thing behind how good your songs were. <laughs> well, because nowadays you could sing live with auto tune, so it's still you singing live, but you have auto tune on. It. Or most people just sing over their track. It's just a karaoke set. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's what a lot of pop stars are doing. Uh, anyway, let's keep it. Going.
That was excellent. That was excellent. Man, that ending. You're <laughs> never going to get away from uh, the sound. Of the woman who loves you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And that was a moment between the guitar player there. Is that Lindsey Buckingham? Yeah, is that Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie and, uh, Nicks? And I believe they were in a relationship. Oh my lord! That was and that so was a. They maybe, were really selling it there. Uh, my my guess is that's the intense that maybe Duncan was talking about. Ah, uh, yeah. But that Ooh. name, Lindsey Buckingham, what, what a, a ro- what a rock star's name! <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's my no other Lindsey Buckingham. There's no I other is British. There's no <laughs> other career that man could have. That man just grew up to be some sort of like a seventies rocker and nailed it. <laughs> he's not even good at his he's not even good at music. It's just like, oh, just it's Lindsey Buckingham. Yeah. We we gotta bring him in. No, I and oh the feel on that guitar solo. Ooh, yeah. It just comes in, you're like, this is exactly the yearn. My stomach has fallen out of my stomach. And the whole band, everyone's just like in it together. It doesn't feel like you know, someone's slacking. Someone's like a little behind. Because you could tell, like, sometimes you watch a band and be like, oh, the drummer's just not really gelling with the rest of everyone. Or like, mm. you know, maybe the singer. It, it could be anyone. But um, this just felt so cohesive and nice. Just like all blended together in just the right way. Mike, it's Fleetwood Mac, one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, I've never watched a live performance from them. I mean, I've heard like the big songs, but I really don't know much about them besides <laughs> Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks. Mike, in a previous video, Legacy Act. Legacy. There you go. You kept go. saying legendary. Yeah. Well, that and, too. Well, and the other thing was, well, uh, watching this made me think of it because this kind of seems like 90s, maybe? Because they're definitely older. Yeah, this could be 80s, I guess. I don't know. What do you think it is? 97. Oh, that's way more. Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, Burbank. California. All right. Oh, 25th anniversary. Of the band's Billboard number one live album. Dang. Oh, this wow. was remastered. So the, the 25th anniversary, this was, was reposted. 1997. For okay. Oh, they look great. They do, yeah. I mean, they're, they're they're definitely a legacy act by that point, 97. Yeah, because Stevie sure Nicks went and did... I'm pretty sure they were 70s and 80s. Stevie Nicks went and did our whole solo thing during the 80s and 90s. During the... I want to say 90s. I think I think Stevie Nicks and... She had some 80s, 80s jams. Stand back, stand back, in the middle of the night. That's just huh. Stevie Nicks, I think. I That's a straight-up 80s jam. But, my goodness, Fleetwood Mac has so many good songs. It's crazy we haven't had a week. And this wouldn't have been on my week. You know, my week would have been. That's one thing that we have to mention. I'd never heard this song. Yeah, I'd never heard the song either. It was awesome. I mean, nice. it's definitely Fleetwood Mac, yeah. you know. But, I mean, little lies. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then freaking. Uh, thunders only happens when it's uh, yeah. that Dreams. Song. Dreaming. I don't know what it's uh, called. And then, of course, Landslide. Oh, yeah. You got to have Landslide. And That's got to be one of the most covered songs of all time. Of course. Everyone covers Landslide. And Rihanna. Oh, Gypsy. I'll be your... Fleetwood Mac is so good. Yeah, they got some hits. Yeah. Um. All right. Thank you to Duncan. This was great. Her voice was wonderful. So good. All right, see ya.